are going to explain for primary 4 English A level. We are going to explain unit 4 vocabulary. It's about stumbling upon the past. Okay? First of all, you have to get your student book and open it on unit 4 and start listening and say after him or her, okay? While you are listening, okay? Let's start. Page 36. Unit 4. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Dinosaur. Skull. Ravine. Examine. Discover. Excavate. Layers. Paleontologist. Ash. Sedimentary rock. Pastime. Okay, listen again. Page 36. Unit 4. Get ready. Try to say after words. him, okay? A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Say after him. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Skull. Skull. Ravine. Ravine. Examine. Discover. Excavate. Layers. Paleontologist. Ash. Sedimentary rock. Pastime. Okay, the last time. Listen and Page say after 36. Him again, okay? Unit 4. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Dinosaur. Skull. Ravine. Examine. Discover. Excavate. Layers. Paleontologist. Ash. Sedimentary rock. Pastime. Okay. To go to the next one. Page 38. Read. Stumbling upon the past. Javier was a nine-year-old boy who lived with his parents in the hillside town of Ademuz in the province of Valencia in Spain. Javier was a curious and energetic boy. His favorite pastime was to explore the hills and open fields around his town. The neighboring village of Rio Deva, just 26 kilometers away from Ademuz, was famous because of a great discovery there. In 2003, paleontologists found the bones of the largest dinosaur in Europe, in a wheat field near the little village. When it was alive, this animal was over 38 meters long and had the weight of seven elephants. Javier liked dinosaurs more than anything else in the world. He also believed that there was an amazing dinosaur bone buried somewhere near his own town of Ademus. His dream was to be the first person to find it. One summer morning, Javier was exploring in a field near a ravine just outside of the town. He looked up to see his two friends, Fernando and Pepe, running toward him with a colorful kite. Let's fly it, Javier, they shouted. Javier enjoyed playing with his friends. He quickly forgot about his exploring and grabbed the string of the kite. As he ran, the kite lifted into the sky. The boys cheered. Suddenly, the kite spun around and dove into the ravine. I'll get it, shouted Javier. 
he ran down into the ravine. As he reached for the kite, his foot caught on something. He fell to the rocky ground with a crash. His two friends ran up as he rubbed his head. Are you okay? Pepe asked. I think so, said Javier. He looked down at a rough gray object sticking out of the ground. I tripped on that, he said. It looks like a rock, said Fernando. Javier looked carefully at the object. I don't think it's a rock, he said excitedly. I think it's something else. Let's pull it out, said Pepe. No, said Javier. It's better to leave it right here. Javier and the boys ran home to tell Javier's parents. Javier's father spoke to the mayor of the town, who contacted the Paleontology Foundation. The next day, a paleontologist from the foundation came to the town. He followed Javier to the ravine and examined the boy's discovery. It could be a dinosaur bone, he said. If it is, we'll need to determine how old it is. How do you do that? asked Javier. This bone was buried in sedimentary rock, which lies in layers under the ground. We'll look for volcanic ash below and above this rock layer. Through a special process, we can find out the ages of those layers of ash. Then we'll know that the dinosaur died sometime between those two ages. Soon, many paleontologists began excavating the area around the bone. They found more bones, as well as a skull. It was a unique dinosaur they didn't know about. Television reporters came to the town and spoke to Javier about the bone he discovered. This dinosaur will need a name, said one reporter. What do you think it should be called? That's easy, said the man from the Paleontology Foundation. We'll call it the Javier Saurus. Okay, now we finished reading this, okay? So let's go first to uh, new words and explanation or uh, definition of it. And after that, we will go back and listen again to this wonderful story, okay? The first thing here is ash. Ash is the gray or black powder that is left after something you know ash especially tobacco wood or coal has burned when you burn uh, wood for example and it turns to ash ash is the black powder that is left after burning you know it okay Excavate, it means the dig in the ground to look for old buildings. Excavate, it means to explore old buildings, okay? Or objects that, has been, that have been buried for a long time, okay? To find something by digging in this way. So, excavate, uh, excavate, it means also that someone is digging in this way to find out very old things, okay? Grief, a feeling of great sadness, especially when someone dies. Grief, a feeling of great sadness, I'm very, very sad, okay? especially when someone dies liars a quantity of thickness of something that lies over a surface or between surfaces liar a quantity of or thickness of something 
liars. It means uh, a liar, you know, a liar above a liar above a liar. So it, it makes what liars. Liars, a quantity of thickness of something that lies over surface or between two surfaces. Okay? Niece, a, the daughter of your brother or sister, the daughter of your brother or sister, it's called niece, and she calls you what? Uncle. Okay? So, uncle has a niece. A niece is the daughter of his brother or sister. Okay? Or it can be also the daughter of your husband's or wife's brothers or sisters. Okay? Okay. We have. So, uh, niece, as we said, the daughter of your brother or sister. Paleontologist or paleontologist, it means a person who studies fossils. Paleontologist, he is the person or the scientist who studies what? Fossils. Fossils, it's the, the very old things that is buried into uh, the ground, okay? Very long time ago. Okay. Ravine, ravine it, it's a deep and very narrow valley with steep sides. Ravine, it's very deep or narrow valley, okay? With a steep sides so you cannot easily get in it okay it's hard to get in it uh, relieve the good feeling you have when you are no longer worried or in pain relief when you are no longer in pain and you are happy very happy it's what relief when when you are getting rid of your pain, now you are better, okay? Sedimentary rock, it's what sedimentary rock, it's connected with the, or formed from the sand, or stones, mud, etc. That settled at the bottom of lakes, etc. Okay, sedimentary rock, it's what, it's co uh, connected with, with or formed from the sand. It's connected sand, okay, or, uh, or formed from sand, or stones, or mud, etc., okay? That settle at the bottom of uh, lakes, uh, uh, bottom of uh, valleys like we had here in the story and so on okay skull what is a skull skull is the bone structure that forms the head and surrounds this uh, and surrounds head okay and protects the brain again skull is the bone structure that protects our brain it surrounds it okay trapped an act of falling or nearly failing okay down when you fall down it it's what trapped when someone is trapped as if he is going to fall fall down fell down he's going to fall down okay because you hit your foot against something when you you hit uh, for example a rock in the ground and uh, you are trapped it means that you are going to fail to fall okay okay now we have finished it and we are going to get our exercises but before we answer our exercise we will go back to list with this uh, new vocabs and uh, listen to our story.
Page 36, Unit 4, Get Ready. Words. A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say, say the words. Him. Dinosaur. Skull. Ravine. Examine. Discover. Excavate. Layers. Paleontologist. Ash. Sedimentary rock. Pastime. Page 36. Unit 4. Get ready. Words. A. Listen and read the words. Listen again and say the words. Dinosaur. Skull. Ravine. Examine. Discover. Excavate. Layers. Paleontologist. Ash. Sedimentary rock. Okay. Listen. Pastime. Page 38. Read. Stumbling upon the past. Javier was a nine-year-old boy who lived with his parents in the hillside town of Ademus in the province of Valencia in Spain. Javier was a curious and energetic boy. His favorite pastime was to explore the hills and open fields around his town. The neighboring village of Rio Deva, just 26 kilometers away from Ademus, was famous because of a great discovery there. In 2003, paleontologists found the bones of the largest dinosaur in Europe, in a wheat field near the little village. When it was alive, this animal was over 38 meters long and had the weight of seven elephants. Javier liked dinosaurs more than anything else in the world. He also believed that there was an amazing dinosaur bone buried somewhere near his own town of Ademus. His dream was to be the first person to find it. One summer morning, Javier was exploring in a field near a ravine just outside of the town. He looked up to see his two friends, Fernando and Pepe, running toward him with a colorful kite. Let's fly it, Javier, they shouted. Javier enjoyed playing with his friends. He quickly forgot about his exploring and grabbed the string of the kite. As he ran, the kite lifted into the sky. The boys cheered. Suddenly, the kite spun around and dove into the ravine. I'll get it, shouted Javier. He ran down into the ravine. As he reached for the kite, his foot caught on something. He fell to the rocky ground with a crash. His two friends ran up as he rubbed his head. Are you okay? Pepe asked. I think so, said Javier. He looked down at a rough gray object sticking out of the ground. I tripped on that, he said. It looks like a rock, said Fernando. Javier looked carefully at the object. I don't think it's a rock, he said excitedly. I think it's something else. Let's pull it out, said Pepe. No, said Javier. It's better to leave it right here. Javier and the boys ran home to tell Javier's parents. Javier's father spoke to the mayor of the town, who contacted the Paleontology Foundation. The next day, a paleontologist from the foundation came to the town. He followed Javier to the ravine and examined the boy's discovery. It could be a dinosaur bone, he said. If it is, we'll need to determine how old...
old it is. How do you do that? asked Javier. This bone was buried in sedimentary rock, which lies in layers under the ground. We'll look for volcanic ash below and above this rock layer. Through a special process, we can find out the ages of those layers of ash. Then we'll know that the dinosaur died sometime between those two ages. Soon, many paleontologists began excavating the area around the bone. They found more bones, as well as a skull. It was a unique dinosaur they didn't know about. Television reporters came to the town and spoke to Javier about the bone he discovered. This dinosaur will need a name, said one reporter. What do you think it should be called? That's easy, said the man from the Paleontology Foundation. We'll call it the okay. Javier Saurus. Exercises. My favorite. Cover. Examine. Sedimentary. Past time is to explore the field around my house. Do you know the answer? Let's check. Excellent. So my favorite pastime is to explore the fields around my house, okay? The next one. I look for rocks and bones. I like to mm, them up close. I like to discover, examine layers past time let's check excellent so I look for rocks and bones I like to examine them up close can you answer this one rocks are very interesting some of them have many hmm, in them have many discover in them have many sedimentary in them have many layers in them have many pastime in them do you know the answer let's check it excellent rocks are very interesting some of them have many layers in them, okay? I hope I hmm, a special ancient boon someday. So I hope I what I discover, I examine, I sedimentary, I layers. Who knows the answer? I hope I discover a special ancient bone someday. Excellent. Okay, the last one. The big fire created a lot of ash, wood, relief, skull. Who knows the answer? The answer is very good ash. Okay, the big fire created a lot of ash. Excellent. Now we have finished our lesson today. I hope you are okay with it. Everything is okay. So thank you and goodbye.